you know, basically we have a way to work with, you know, photopolymer plates. So it's a soft material, but I work on this plate with a laser. So you can even feel the image. It's basically engraved. Right. You, you can pass it around. I don't know. It's nice. Very, yeah, just touch them. What do you call it? Wow. These are measurement boards, but basically, I can do this. this well, I'm doing this on paper, mm -hmm. paper and the mm -hmm. but it can be done almost in, on any material yeah. except for certain kind of metals. Um, so see that the difference, the photo image, basically you can capture, as opposed to a CNC machine carving this. This is the map of Venice. Uh, I thought that was a map. Yeah. <laughs> I made a rookie mistake on this. Uh -oh. What is not really um, part of Venice? <laughs> is it backwards? It's not. It's huh? not. Oh, it's not. I didn't flip it. Yeah, oh, oh right. right. It's okay. But, but, but this is right. All right. For this is right, yeah. But yeah. I should have flip it because <laughs> if I wanted to use it as a block, the right. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, right, exactly. It shouldn't be. Right. But what I'm doing is I coat it, it and I, 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 I paint on that, yeah. and I draw, and so on, and they go back with the laser. So they yeah. are basically my very thick paper now. Right. Yeah. So you can pass this around too. Mm -hmm. So this is the... The Grand Canal. Mm -hmm. So this is the uh, aerial map between New York and London. Oh, wow. Yeah. I took, I went to this museum, took an oh. image, and it's open source, so I can just borrow that. But you can see that the tool, the drill bit, is so fine mm -hmm. that each each little dot was individually carved mm -hmm. with machines. And this is one of my sketches. So that's from the sketchbook. Scan, then to Photoshop, Photoshop to wow. uh, all those little dots. My and then yeah. chop out. So like five different steps to go mm -hmm. through this, yeah. and finally get a get a car, got a car on a piece of wood. So to this extent, you can see now what I'm thinking. In this way, I, I'm you? exhausted by the time I if <laughs> I want to print this, mm -hmm. I might as well you know print on on the block. So talk mm -hmm. about this side of this. Oh, this the other side was the vinyl, so I'm using that as a relief print. Okay. As a relief block. Yeah. Mm. But I'm going to remove that. I'm just going to coat it with uh, um, gesso and then print on it yeah. the way I would do it with a painting. Yeah. You can pass this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so who does your, do you have a machine that carves it here then? Yeah. Okay. You use that same machine for is all of these? This is the same machine for this. Yeah. Okay. I mean, the one this, that you this shot This one over there. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then also, I brought this because I think it's kind of tell a story. So uh, this is a drawing using Illustrator, basically use uh, graphic design software, basically. It has to be in the format. What do you call that? Vector? Is Vector that it format. Yeah. So basically, Illustrator turns that. Every line is a uh, is a value, basically just a straight line. That you can just move it back and forth. Uh, you can draw circles with it, which I love. Mm -hmm. And then once I have this, I coat my plate with the ground. That's mm -hmm. that's how this happens. And then the machine just goes and draws carves through the ground for me. Mm -hmm. And then I put it in the bath, in the acid bath. And then that's how I got these thick lines, which. They look handmade, and I like that part. Um, I mm -hmm. like to tell the story. This not everything that I make is handmade; is hand printed. Yeah. So, so basically, still, I'm showing you like the different mm -hmm. venues right now that we're using CNC laser. So, mm -hmm. I think we should get yeah. a good progress on that on the machine. Do you want to go see the print? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah.